Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing the updated 2020 election map prediction between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's start on the West Coast, fill out the safe states for the Democrats, California and Washington and Hawaii, as well as New York, Illinois, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, all these states down here. Rhode Island has a chance to get under 10, but I don't think it'll happen this time around. Maybe with a Warren or a far-left candidate, it possibly could do that. But with Biden, the so-called neo-lib, I can't see it happening. Maybe Trump loses by 11, as well as Oregon. I think Oregon would just narrowly stay over the threshold. It possibly could go to likely status, but... Just for the sake of now, and I'll try to be nice to Biden, so maybe we get a little few uh, less irate co uh, commenters from the left here. Uh, but Maine's first district as well, that is going to go for Biden. Now we can fill out the safe Trump states. Utah, sorry, Mormon guy, you're not winning any of the Mormon three right here. Uh, Montana, the Dakotas, all of Nebraska except the second district, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, the Deep South here, which would be all the, I believe, the Goldwater, Wallace states with the exception of Georgia, uh, Missouri, Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, also in Trump's column in the safe column. Maine second, I think, will go to him safe as well, and Alaska. So there it is, 183 safe blue, 126 safe red, and zero for Mormon. Uh, I, I don't really think they have a chance. I think a lot of the Mormons are going to vote for Trump this time around. Uh, instead of voting third party. You saw this in the Tempe um, precincts in the Mesa area where Trump was missing a lot of votes. I think a lot of those will come back and help keep Arizona and the lean red column. So Arizona, Arizona will go lean red. Now, New Mexico, likely blue, as well as Colorado. Um, unless Trump legalizes marijuana helping out the Colorado businesses, I don't see it happening. Then it could get closer but I just don't think Trump's going to put a whole lot of effort in New Mexico and Colorado. If he did, he'd have a chance to flip, I believe, New Mexico before Colorado because they're actually trending in opposite directions. Now the state of Virginia as well, likely blue, if not safe. Now the state of Nevada, I think Donald Trump is going to flip it. Looking at the metrics, look at uh, how it's trending. Republicans still held some statewide offices in the midterms. I think that it's going to narrowly go for Trump. But if you dare to say that on our good friends over at U.S. Elections Atlas, your post will get deleted for trolling because it's an opposing opinion. So join Atlas. I'll put the link in the description so you can help predict elections and fight the left-wing election prediction mafia. But that's beside the point. Texas is going for the Republicans and the likely column. Trump will win it by six or seven. He's going to win Tarrant County by four or five, and that's the bellwether. And I think that's going to help uh, push the state towards his column compared to the midterms. But I don't think he'll do as good as he did in 2016, but it's going to be good enough to hold on. His rally in Dallas was huge. So I think it's, he's definitely got the state of Texas no matter what. Uh, Nebraska's second district will lean into Trump's column, if not tilt, but it's going to go for Trump. Uh, Democrats did not win it in the midterms. I really can't see him winning it. I just think it's one of those places that's going to stay in Trump's column. Iowa is going to go likely as well as Ohio. It's possible that they go safe before they go lean. Uh, Iowa is going to be closer than the state of Ohio, but I think that both of them are going to be likely in Trump's column. Too far gone for Democrats, and Democrats are just going to spend time in the Rust Belt area. It doesn't matter what an early poll will tell you out of one of these states that has it close. But out of the state of Florida, it's going to be closer, but it's going to still lean in Donald Trump's column, as well as the state of Georgia. I think Florida and Georgia will both be decided by around three points in, the, in this election cycle. And North Carolina is a state that Trump could possibly even get in the likely column. But Biden, I don't really see it this time around. Trump's going to win it. Tom Tillis is going to win it as well. Uh, Roy Cooper, though, I think he'll hold the governorship there narrowly, uh, but we'll have to see what happens. But out of the rest of these states, these, this is where the election is going to be decided. Biden is from Pennsylvania, hasn't lived there in 50 years. He could run the table, uh, but we'll have to decide what's going to happen. Maine at large, I think, is going to go for Donald Trump. The trend is real. Trust the trends. 
Uh, Maine at large will go for Trump in the lean column, as well as the state of New Hampshire. New Hampshire is also going to go for Donald Trump very, very narrowly, and Pennsylvania will. I think Trump will lose Erie County. I think Trump will lose ground in the Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia suburbs, but I think he's going to gain in the southwestern and, and center part of the state, and possibly a little bit more in the Scranton area. If he can make his case to workers, he can go there to spite Biden and flip that area of Pennsylvania. So we'll have to see what happens on that front. But out of the state of Michigan, and we'll, we'll, we'll do Wisconsin first. Wisconsin, I think Trump has done a better job at getting the main Romney-Walker level conservative in Waukesha County on board that wasn't on board last time. I think he'll flip and turn out voters more in that part of the state, as well as the trends continuing in the rest of the state. And I think Donald Trump will win the state in the lean column. But the state of Michigan, I mean, it's going to be a close one no matter what. I think Trump will narrowly win it. I have it in the tilt Trump column for now. I think Trump could do better in places like Genesee County, uh, where Flint is. I think he could do better in Macomb County. Even if he loses ground in Oakland and Kent, I think he'll do so much better in the rural part of the state and keep that trend going. So he'll be able to win Michigan and Minnesota. I think it's going to be a pure toss up, but I'm going to give it to, we'll give it to Trump just because of Trump's potential and iron range a part of the state, and there's it's a growing sentiment there. Even CNN admits that the Iron Range is turning on the Democrats and turning to Trump, and Trump's going to have to go there and make his case again. Ilan Omar, very unpopular there as well. So we'll have to see what happens when it's all said and done, guys. But right now, I have Trump beating Biden 328 to 210. It's possible Trump loses the popular vote by even greater than he did last time and still do better in the Electoral College. And um, that's the beauty of a constitutional republic. So thanks everybody for watching. Please like this video, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Instagram, like us on Facebook, links in description, join the Discord, uh, donate to the Patreon, just $10 a month makes a huge difference, makes these videos, makes the channel running. So I appreciate everybody for watching. Red Eagle, out.